race fans are in the pits here. Quick Collie Speedway for the final finale of the Super Tilt Wild West late model series. And uh, talking with New South Wales number 99, Ross Nikastri. Ross, uh, getting behind the wheel after your son did the first two rounds. Most are looking forward to turning some laps in WA. I am really looking forward to it. It looks like a good racetrack. Um, yeah, that should be great. Be good fun. Of course, uh, you've got young Devin Moran uh, following the second car out of your uh, Frank's Auto Parts team. Just want to tell us a little bit how that relationship has come about. Um, it came about, I've been over there racing a couple of times and, and Donnie, his dad, looks after me really well, gives me a trailer to use and pick up to tow with and a workshop to work out of. So it's just sort of a reciprocal thing. I, I allow Devin to come out for a month and race one of our cars. Yeah, good stuff. Of course, yeah, you probably just want to get a few laps in tonight here at, uh, at Coley Speedway and lead up to next weekend's Nationals Idol. Yeah, that, that was it, you know. I, I wanted to do the meeting directly prior to the title. It's always good to have your hand in you know, right before in a main event. Yeah. Of course, uh, you've been around uh, Speedway for a long time uh, over in New South Wales. You've campaigned sprint cars and uh, sedans of uh, many different kinds. So, what do you like most about these late models? Oh, they're just, I guess I grew up in sedans and, and just sprint cars didn't do it for me like a, a late model does. These things yeah. are just a great adrenaline rush. Um, yeah, to me, they're better than a sprint car. Yeah, much, much better. Yeah, okay. Um, of course, uh, the Australian title next weekend. Uh, the tracks over here in Western Australia are a lot bigger to what you have uh, back home in Sydney. Does that prove much of a challenge or.? Uh, no, after, you know, we did seven meetings in America this season and most of their tracks are probably similar to what's here, so no, I'm quite comfortable with it. I'm really, really looking forward to it. Uh, give Steve a crack. Yeah, that's it, of course. Yeah, American Steve France has been in pretty good form since he's been here in WA. How did you see uh, your, your son Ben? He campaigned at the Motorplex and also Mandrill. How did you see his uh, performance over in the West? Um, I thought he did well. You know, he hasn't been racing that long and big tracks for him are something new. So uh, as he came to grips with each track, he, he seemed to go pretty well. At the end of the main at each night, he, he ended up you know, being reasonably well up in the results. Early in the night, he struggled a bit, but uh, later in the night at each place at uh, Motorplex, I think he came out of 19th and finished up 6th in the main. So that was a good result. And managed up come out of 12th, I think, and finished 4th. Yeah, that's it. Well, well uh, Ross, wish you the best here tonight at uh, Quick Collie Speedway. Well, hopefully, you can fly the New South Wales flag by, and then next weekend at the Australian Tour, we might uh, see you on the podium. Hope so. There he is, race fans. Coming to New South Wales, my 99, Ross Nicastri.